Let me ask you a question. When is just winning not enough? Acts like teabagging are pretty common brags in modern day gaming. Although it might not be appropriate in the heat of combat. But apparently this memo didn't reach a MiG pilot during the 1971 Indo-Pak war. No, he did not teabag the enemy. In fact, he did something that can be considered to a higher standard than a teabag in real life. This is the story of a MiG pilot who did victory rolls over an enemy runway. A little bit of context on the war. The 1971 Indo-Pak War, also known as the Bangladesh Liberation War, was a military conflict between India and Pakistan that took place in December 1971. The war was sparked by the political and humanitarian crisis in East Pakistan, which was predominantly Bengali and had been struggling for autonomy from West Pakistan. The Pakistani army launched a brutal crackdown in East Pakistan, resulting in a mass exodus of refugees to India. India provided sanctuary to millions of refugees. My family was one of them by the way. And began supporting the Bengali nationalist movement. In response, Pakistan launched a preemptive strike on India on December 3rd, 1971, which was the precursor to the 1971 war. The Indian Air Force played a major role in India's victory during the 1971 war. One of the workhorses of the Air Force was the MiG-21, which was used for all purposes and pushed to their utmost limits. MiG-21s went on bombing missions escorted by MiG-21s, carrying air-to-air -air munitions. And flying one such MiG-21 was Wing Commander P.K. Vishnoi. He had significant experience with the aircraft and had already taken part in sorties where he was instrumental in destruction of an ammunition-carrying train and other ground assets. During the war, the Indian Air Force was tasked with the operation to destroy PAF runways in Tejgaon to disrupt the PAF from carrying out their own air operations in the region. On December 8, 1971, a lone MiG-21 piloted by Flight Lieutenant Manbir Singh took off from Guwahati and went on to carry out the successful destruction of the enemy runway and that too in pitch black skies of the night, a dangerous mission in itself. Once it was clear that the Tejgaon runway would be unusable for at least another day, another sortie of MiG-21s was launched to make sure the runway was leveled for good this time. Acknowledging the possibility that the PAF might just be able to use the previously bombed Kurmitola runway near Tejgaon, the IF command decided to send another sortie to destroy the Kurmitola runway. The strike consisted of four bomb-laden MiG-21s escorted by two MiG-21s carrying K-13 air-to-air missiles. The lead of the escort MiG-21 was Wing Commander B.K. Bishnoi. They were tasked to provide air cover for the striking MiG-21s in case the PAF was able to launch aircrafts from the slightly damaged Kurmitola airfield. Bishnoi, still seething over the IS failure to provide photographs of the airfield prior to the war or during the attacks to his pilots, had decided to carry his personal 35mm film camera for a little private photo reconnaissance. The formation arrived over Kurmitola at 7.30am. The craters from the previous raids had not been repaired. The runway was successfully bombed along its length. Gil and Mehta dropped their bombs on the northern end of the runway, while Subhaya scored a direct hit in the middle of the runway. Mali dropped his bomb on the southern end. Meanwhile, Vishnoi flying top cover took pictures of the attack. As the bombs exploded, Vishnoi half rolled his MiG-21 upside down and with his handheld camera looking down on the runway, captured graphic images of the mushroom clouds of dust and debris. As at Tejgao, there was little anti-aircraft fire and the formation turned back to Guwahati. But Vishnoi had one last task to accomplish. He headed towards Tejgao airfield and made a few passes, taking photographs of the blast pens and dispersal areas and even executed an aileron roll in his MiG. Bishnoi's run over Tejgao was clearly visible to the PAF officers on the ground. And for squadron leader Dilawar Hussain, the MiG-21 executing rolls overhead were salt in their wounds. 
As I was having breakfast, I saw an IF MiG-21 come over Tejgao airfield and do victory rolls over the runway. I could not hold my tears once again. The feelings of helplessness and revenge were so strong that I immediately rushed to the AOC Air Commodore's office. I requested his permission to get airborne from the road that ran along the ATC tower to be able to challenge the IF for one last time in the air. The AOC told me to calm down and did not agree. AOC prohibited Dilawar's wild plan because he had given up on the Pakistani army. Now believe it or not, this was not the only instance of Indian pilots conducting victory rolls over enemy airfields as one other MiG-21 pilot, SS Tyagi, had conducted loops over the enemy airfields in the same region. Although there still remains a confusion on whether the MiG-21 pilot spotted by the PAF officer was Tyagi or Vishnoi. As per all the sources I could find, it was claimed to be Vishnoi. I encourage you to go through the sources tagged in the video if you want to learn more about the brave and incredible action of the IAF and its pilots during the 1971 war. And speaking of incredible, let me tell you all about the reason why Western spies stole used Russian toilet paper in this video here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.